welcome back to the Engineered Angler. Today I'm going to do a short video, but it's something that uh, I've got a lot of interest in, and I think a lot of you all do too. Uh, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know I've got kind of an obsession with getting a chrome finish on lures, and so I do a lot of metallic finish kind of uh, videos. In fact, just did two on foil. <laughs> so, uh, a while back I did a couple of videos on testing uh, the difference between the Krylon looking glass and spastics and I did a bunch of test spoons I gave them a real gloss base finish and then I, I put coats of uh, either spastics or looking glass just to see which one gave me the best finish and the thing is initially uh, they're both pretty good but after clear coating uh, they can go from something as good as this to something as sort of dismal and dingy is this. The key was the clear coat over the actual uh, material. And uh, it's been frustrating. It all, doesn't always come out the same. I've had some real good success with both of these products, uh, but I've also had some dismal failures. But today we're gonna test uh, a product that I, I haven't used yet, and this is Spastic's own uh, clear coat. And it's meant to protect the finish of their chrome. So the question is, Will it give me a real chrome finish? I've got a lure that I painted black and put a glassy clear coat on there. So we'll coat it with, with the Spastics Chrome. We'll let it dry. We'll buff it a little bit like it says in the instructions. And then we'll spray it down with some of this clear coat. And we'll see if this doesn't ruin it. So let's switch to the camera inside the booth and we'll do a demonstration. Let's see how this works. All right, the instructions say to shoot this at 15 to 20 PSI. There you go. So we'll need a clean microfiber rag here to polish it. I'll leave it in the lure bow uh, so I don't have to touch it at all. I should be able to rotate it like I want. All right. It says shake it up for 30 to 60 seconds. That's a lot. I turn on the extractor. Uh, this way I don't have to breathe this. And uh, it'll be a little loud, but bear with me. looks pretty good that looks pretty good already I'm not gonna give it another coat I'm just gonna let it dry so the other thing to take into consideration uh, spraying this is that it is uh, not water-based so it means acetone or some kind of solvent to clean your gun out all right so the instructions say wait 15 minutes before you uh, buff it off so we've got another about eight minutes then it tells you to shake it up even though it's crystal clear so it tells you to uh, spray two very light dustings of uh, clear uh, and then let it dry and then spray another three coatings to help protect it. So let's shake it up and I'll polish that off in a minute. Okay, I think we've been long enough. Let's see what happens when I polish this up I'm very gently. Buffing it off. Oh yeah, it makes a big difference. You actually see the dust that was on the surface come off, which is just overspray dust. Let's get to the other side. You can see it's a little duller. And very quickly, sort of shines right up. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little of that dust on the rag itself. All right, that's pretty good. And uh, hopefully you can see that it reflects pretty nicely and probably uh, the spastics label. A little bit all right so it's time to spray this on and this is usually uh, when I find everything goes bad uh, it usually dulls it out turns it into a kind of a metallic gray 
uh, and not this almost perfect chrome that this thing put down. So I'm going to put two light dustings. I'll let it dry and for 15 minutes and then I'll give it uh, the other three coats. So unless that dries clearer than that, <laughs> it's already fouled it. Here's a second coat. So here it is after five coats of the Spastics uh, Ultimate Clear, specifically designed for uh, the chrome. And you can see it's absolutely ruined it. Uh, it just looks like a very dull piece of aluminum. In contrast, here's one I, I painted as an experiment, shoot, last year, early last year. And you can see how much better it reflects and I don't know if you can see my fingers in it. Realistically, uh, as far as being reflective and chrome-like, this beats it. And I clear coated it by dipping this in future floor wax, which I have found to be the best. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to wipe all this off with some uh, alcohol. Hopefully it'll take it all off and uh, we'll try again. And instead of using this stuff, we'll use the floor wax and see if we get a better finish. Luckily, the alcohol takes it off. All right, so we're back to square one. I've got it back to the glossy finish. Luckily, that stuff came off with just alcohol. And now I'm going to hit it again with the Spastix Chrome. Let it dry, buff it out, and then we'll hit it with some clear floor wax. Hopefully, I'll get a better result. Back to shake and paint. And we'll just pour a tiny bit in there. Let's give it some time to dry and then we'll polish it again. Very nice. I'm really happy that we were able to get this uh, just really nice reflective surface back. And I happen to know that this stuff um, likes to get sprayed at about 30 to 35 PSI. I've got it set at 34 PSI uh, and I'm using my smaller airbrush. I think we're ready to spray. To say it took a little of the luster out I'm hoping that uh, a regular clear coat will bring it back but you can see uh, my fingers pretty clearly uh, reflected in there uh, let's let this dry okay so here it is this is the uh, the final product kind of difficult to see how shiny it is uh, it's it's pretty good let me get a closer shot of it uh, in this light over here. It's much better than the one uh, that I put this stuff on. Uh, this was an absolute disaster. Uh, I, a waste of about $10. And maybe you can see the pen uh, pretty well reflected in there too. So it's not exactly chrome. It's kind of like a, a highly polished aluminum, but it's much better than the other one. Uh, let me go ahead and do a side by side with a photograph of this and a photograph of the one that I did with this spastic stuff. So it stands up pretty good to the uh, finger wiggle test. This is not a bad alternative to foil or uh, definitely much, much easier than putting silver plate on there. But hey, silver plate is amazing. Check these out.
So those are what I prefer, but it's a lot of work. All right, so here it is. This is my favorite color scheme. I call it uh, a copper top. And it's essentially a copper finish on top and the silver on the bottom. I really love the way this thing looks, especially in murky water. It has a great flash, tracks a lot of bites. And I did the same thing with this little frog. And I gotta say, really love uh, the, the tones I'm getting from this new paint I just got. And that's uh, another video. So if you're enjoying this stuff, subscribe uh, and comment. If you wanna see something that I haven't really fully explored, Certainly put it in uh, the comments and I'll do my best to do it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.